Hello all, welcome back again to my YouTube channel SZ Academy. Uh, we have talked about general formula syntax in the last lecture. It's time to address one of the most important topic of the course, which is reference types. Now these reference types are uh, what allow you to reuse or recycle formulas in multiple places and across multiple sales without having to manually retype formulas or manually update the references contained within them which as you will soon see would just be completely impractical so these references types are uh, all about helping us work mo more efficiently with our formulas now by default sale references are relative and uh, what this means is that those references will changes they shift or slide as the formula is copied or moved to new sales but here is the thing you can use a dollar sign symbol uh, to create something called a fixed references and uh, you can fix either an entire cell or range by inserting a dollar sign before both the column references uh, in this case you may see a uh, and the row reference in this case is one or you can fix just a portion of a reference like just the column or just the row and uh, what this does is prevent those uh, references from changing as a formula that it's contained within is copied to a new cell. In other words, it lock in that reference or that piece of a reference and prevent it from sliding with the formula. Now, uh, just a quick pro tip here. Mastering uh, references types is far and away my number one tip which is for working efficiently with formulas and I know it probably feels a little bit ab abstract uh, right now a little bit confusing but trust me if you invest the time to practice these references which will do throughout the course you will be amazed at how much time you can save. So let's jump into an excel. I want to show you some example of uh, uh, like why these references types are so important. Here what I have done is just built a pretty simple template of like a five month of projection of like as example ABC limited company and we are assuming that we have got four different assets here which is A, B, C and D. Uh, we have got made up expected growth, ra growth rates uh, here in the column C and we are just assuming a starting balance of uh, so around which is one lakh in INR in each of those rows. And the idea is here is just to use some basic Excel functions to forecast out what the starting balance would return or would turn into over this period or this given period of our different growth rates. So let's see if we can uh, make this work. Now I am uh, right here in the column E4 in the, uh, in the E4 tab. I'm gonna say equals as usual and we are basically going to say let's take our I mean take our uh, starting balance which is uh, d5 and let's multiply that which is multiply that by 1.03 in this case like our I mean three percent to do that we'll uh, open up the parenthesis then uh, type 1 plus the c5 c5 which is i mean our growth rate and uh, that's going to take uh, around 1 lakh inr now uh, it's gonna multiply it by 1.03 and uh, if we are feeling good about that we are can simply close the parenthesis and just hit the enter there you go it's i mean the output is around uh, 1 lakh 3000 by the end of first month which is absolutely correct so that sounds good let's go ahead and extrapolate that out uh, to a uh, five months which we are assuming and see what happen well something kind of funny is going on here because this is saying that by the end of month two uh, like we are getting more than like uh, 10 crores or 100 crores and the month of three maybe that's more than a billion or trillion i'm not able to calculate that and that much more is more money that uh, than the like entire world gdp so 
this useless you are completely delusional delusional you are probably realized by this point that something is gone wrong with this our formula and in fact we can like diagnose and figure it out exactly what's wrong using uh, some pretty simple tools one po one option is just to like double click here uh, to edit the formula like so you can press uh, escape for this or you can uh, put have uh, f2 as well by pressing f2 which is a shortcut will do the same thing and what that's gonna do is when you are in edit mode it will show you exactly what cells are i mean reference within this formula and it's nice and color coded so that's you can see here i have got d5 which is my starting balance multiplied by 1 plus c5 which is growth rate which is in orange right now so that looks good i can press enter or or the control enter because you it's you kind like of enter it in a it in a place so i'm gonna arrow over to the um, which is f5 now let's say do the same thing which is f2 press f2 uh it, i mean it's gonna we are we're gone in a edit mode now and now what's going on here i'm taking my new balance which is e5 which is around 1 lakh 3k in INR which is correct but now I am multiplying that balance by 1 plus 1 lakh in sale which is uh, our strat in sale like D5 so multiplied by over 1 lakh which is producing this more than around 100 crores which is absolutely rubbish or incorrect so what's going on here is that my reference for like my growth rate has slide from c5 which is from c5 to d5 and e to f let's escape this and check like f g h so they are absolutely ridiculous i mean it's astronomical values are here and this is why the reference types are so important we go back to our original function which is e4 right now and we say hey excel don't let column c shift it to d e f g h my growth rate always leave there in the column c only i want to fix that reference in the place by pressing f2 i'm just in edit mode now i am what you could do here is is type in right in the formula bar like those dollar signs before the c yeah so the column c is fixed now what if we now let's say what if we fix the whole references like c5 the whole reference we're always going to fix that i mean uh, always going to point out the c5 only no matter where this formula lives and let's press uh, dollar here before c5 to fix that as well and let's let's press the enter let's go ahead and drag it out again And that's look a lot of like more realistic right in the fact that uh, these numbers are absolutely correct and now watch the formula as a kind of just arrow through the, our starting balance is shifting which is what we want but our growth rate is always pointing back to C5 as you can see it's C5 only for in all the tabs that's that's one we wanted here so last step here that uh, take care of like product a let's go ahead and grab this whole set of formula and drag it down so to our product a b c and d now what's going on here we have got different growth rates right now uh, we want five percent six percent eight percent but we are seeing that the exact same projection in every single row and the column and same story here we can diagnose like by editing one of the sales and pretty quickly it becomes clear that the problem is that we are always pointing back to the c5 because both the column reference which is c refer column and the row reference which is phi are fixed in are fixed in place so all we need to do here in this case let's undo that i mean undo this one control z now go back to e5 
we can say like you know what uh, always want to see to say the same like no matter where this farmer lives the growth rate are always in a column c but we don't want the phi which is uh, our row number to remain fixed so i'm going to simply just remove this dollar sign uh, before the phi we can say and fix only column now press enter drag it down to the right the numbers are stays exactly the same as expected and now watch what happened when we when we pull it down there you go now we are applying the proper growth rate for each of the row so there you have a it a pretty simple example but a good one to illustrate why reference types are so valuable and how can help you work uh, much more efficiently with the formulas in the excel so here here is the thing uh, about the fixed and the reference fixed and the relative references so thank you all thank you all for watching this video if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel to get more videos to sz academy thank you all